Can't beat a deal like that. Thanks a lot, Gus. And now that fall is in full swing and kids are back in school, it's a good time to teach kids about the importance of reading in a fun way. Joining us this morning is Tori Rapkins with a few friends to talk about some books that really cook. Good morning, Tori. How are you? Good morning. Fine, thanks. So you found this really interesting way of incorporating and teaching kids on the importance of reading and also making it fun for them as well. Yes, I do. I've been a teacher for 14 years with Milwaukee Public Schools, and I found that when I cooked with the children, it really made the curriculum quite exciting and they got involved and as you can see they they love it and they're very interested in it and I also sneak in some math skills oh, and I nice. sneak in science they sneak in language arts so I sneak in all kinds of skills with the cooking and it really makes it a lot of fun and very very interesting for the children so who'd you bring here with you today I have uh, some new friends Kayla and Dominique and why don't you can you tell the audience where you're from what school you're from I'm I'm from Parkview School. Okay. And what grade are you in? Fourth grade. Fourth grade. All right. And Dominique? Dominique. At Parkview School. And what grade? Fourth and who's your teacher? Grade. Say hi. Okay. <laughs> so do you guys like cooking? You do? So do you find this really um, helps the kids get excited about reading? It helps them get excited about reading and it helps them get excited about social studies as well. Um, often when I taught social studies, taught Native American history or African American history or agriculture of Wisconsin or whatever it was that I was teaching, whenever I brought the cooking ingredients out, I suddenly had a very quiet class ah. and children were very, very interested. And I like to go back into the schools now and uh, demonstrate this. I was at uh, Elm Creative Arts a couple of weeks ago helping a teacher so I encourage teachers to give me a call and I'd be happy to help them with the math and, and science and social studies and I also do this for birthday parties as a as kind of a fun activity for, for a birthday party as well. So I was asking if it's hard to pick a book to go with the recipe and you said that can be a challenge sometimes. It, it can be. Now today's theme is about autumn and fall and the harvest so I went over to Barnes and Noble at Mayfair and um, and picked out a few books and I also picked out a few books at, from the library because often viewers have called me and have asked you know where do you get these great books yeah I get them at Barnes and Noble and also the library and the recipe is another uh, topic that people call me about they ask where I get the recipe I went to the library and today um, I picked the pumpkin bread we're making pumpkin bread today from this book uh, a holiday cookbook from um, Better Homes and Gardens. Oh. And the kids are making pumpkin bread and they added the pumpkin and all the wet ingredients. Now they're going to add the flour okay. and the brown sugar and the uh, and the raisins. And we have some here to, to share with uh, Beautiful. people. And, and so uh, you also encourage parents to do this for their kids at home, oh, right? To talk sure. about the importance definitely. of reading. Definitely. This is a wonderful activity to do with parents, especially now that it's a little chilly outside right. and uh, you want to warm up the house. Uh, this is a great way to warm up the house and do something together with your child. Read, snuggle up, and uh, cook something fun and then taste it together as a family. It's really fun. All right. Troy Rapkin, Kayla, and Dominique, thanks so much for joining us this morning. And if you have more questions about books that cook, you can call 414-332-2201. And thank you all for being here this Thanks. morning. This smells delicious. Have a piece, please. Oh, okay, I will, <laughs> definitely. And Bart, we'll have another look at your forecast. We'll take a break. Stay with us.